Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Carol Faulkner, a docent at the Meadows Museum. I want to share some thoughts with you about an oil on canvas painting titled St. Francis Kneeling in Meditation, painted around 1605 by a well-known artist named Dominikos Theotokopoulos, better known as El Greco the Greek. The painting is rather small, 29 inches by 26 inches, which suggests that it was probably used in a private setting rather than in a church or monastery. Before finding out about this famous artist, take a moment to observe the painting. Who is the full-length man kneeling who is dressed as a religious person? Did you notice the small red dot on his hand? What colors are predominant? Where are your eyes drawn on the canvas? Do the ivy in the upper left corner and the crucifix skull, religious book, and small white paper in the lower right corner have meaning? El Greco created a design of great simplicity in which the saint is depicted full length with only minimal details to the landscape. The painting's energy is focused on St. Francis in prayer who founded the Franciscan order. Look at the long fingers and elongated curved body. El Greco tended to elongate the human figure. This pose gives a sense of wonder and ecstasy with divine nocturnal light emanating from the upper right corner. The red dot on the hand shows that St. Francis received the stigmata or the wounds of Christ. Notice the black outlining of the areas around the hands and face. The palette is restricted to a predominance of grays and browns to further add to the sobriety of the scene. It creates an ascetic, humble depiction of the saint that conformed to the spirit of the Counter-Reformation after the Council of Trent in 1563. Notice the freely sketched background and the impressive brushwork to the habit which are all stylistically consistent with the work of El Greco. He used a similar background in most of his paintings of St. Francis, of which ten compositions exist. Do you notice that your eyes move diagonally from lower left to upper right? In Christian religious painting, certain images have religious meaning. The ivy in the upper left corner represents eternal life. In the lower right, the crucifix resting on a skull and a Bible or perhaps a breviary are icons representing Christ's suffering and salvation, the skull representing mortality and eternity. The small white paper, perhaps, was a place to hold El Greco's signature. El Greco was born in Crete in 1541. He was a Greek artist whose paintings and sculptures helped define the Spanish Renaissance and influence various art movements. Although Greek by birth, Italian by artistic preparation, the artist became so immersed into the religious environment of Spain that he became the most visual representation of Spanish mysticism. Around the age of 35, he moved to Toledo, Spain, where he lived and worked most of his life. One of the reasons for seeking a career in Spain, after studying with Titian in Venice, must have been knowledge of Philip II's great art projects. However, his connection with the court of Philip II was brief and unsuccessful. Afterwards, he painted extensively for the churches and monasteries in Toledo. After his death, his works fell into obscurity. It would take 250 years for El Greco to gain a newfound appreciation in the 20th century. His works from this period are seen as precursors of both Expressionism and Cubism. Thank you for sharing this painting with me. Plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.